All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, JP is about to get another update, right? Um, 4.8.0. Now, originally, I wasn't even going to do a video on this because it's like, there's, dude, there's, like, they gave us almost no info here. It's just, like, very, very basic things, like, like this right here, right? Like, it's cool. You could just, like, mass accept or delete, like, friend requests, but, like, I, I don't know. Like, that's not... Uh, how about, like, a revamp of the friend system in general? Because, alright, listen. Okay, here's the thing. The problem with the friend system in Dokkan is that everyone wants to make fucking Thousand Day Goku and LR Vegito Blue their leaders. Why? W w people, like, I swear, are just, like, trolling. Like, you, no matter what, you will always, always, always be able to find Thousand Day Goku and you will always be able to find LR Vegito Blue, no matter what. Even though... How often do you run a team with those two? <laughs> and, like, even if you ran, because people say, oh, well, you got to think of the free-to-play players. It's like, uh, dude, there's, like, better free-to-play leads than LR Vegito Blue now, yet that man is everywhere. <laughs> it's like, they got to, like, I don't know. They, they got to let you put, like, multiple leaders uh, up or something like that. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what they do, but it, one thing about, like, okay, who is going to summon for Android 13 when you can't even run him? Like, already on JP, you can't run his team because you can't find Android 13. He came out, like, less than a week ago, and you can't really find Android 13 friends. Like, like so, like, why would you summon for Android 13? You know, like, Dokkan Fest Piccolo is, like, secretly one of the best units in the game, but, like, no one's got him. And, like, no one is summoning for him because, guess what? Piccolo is on this Android 13 banner now that no one is also summoning on. So, Piccolo, no one summoned on his banner. <laughs> and now no one is summoning on the intro 13 banner where piccolo has returned so piccolo is just gonna be mia for so long they gotta fix a way even okay boom it, okay okay I, I you know i really strained my brain to think of this how's about you just get a complete copy of your leader at the top of the friends list whoa that's that's pretty crazy huh what a, what a, what a suggestion. That's all we got to do. Boom. And we're good. You know, that works for me because I got the units rainbowed. That's going to work for a lot of people. Like, uh, you know, then that's more motivation. Okay, make sure you get it to 55%. Actually, that could maybe be more motivation for some people to summon more because it's like, okay, well, if I get that extra dupe, I know I'll always be able to find that extra, um, you know, like that leader with that extra dupe in it, rather than being stuck with like 55% friends. If I can get that extra copy, I'll always be able to have a friend leader with an extra copy as well. So, you know, that potentially could be a really good thing for Dokkan. Hopefully we'll see it. I just rambled for a long time about the friend system, but uh, the main point of this video is this. So they're getting rid of transfer codes, right? I mean, I, honestly, I think it's pretty clear the reason they're getting rid of transfer codes is because cats went way overboard with, like, the bot farming and stuff like that. Now, there's no way this is going to stop that, right? Like, <laughs> like you know, cats are still going to get, like, the, the re-rolled accounts with, like, 5k stones and, like, you know, giveaway accounts, like, all this type of stuff. That's always still going to keep going on. But, obviously, like, even... Okay, so, like, you could be up to, like, rank 500. And if you look at the friends list, you just see a flood of, like, SR Cell friends and, like, SR Android 18s and stuff like that. It's just, like, it, it, it's ruining the game. And, like, I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you got to think of the free-to-play players. It's like, okay, well, yeah, but that selfishness is ruining the friend system. Like, unless you're, even me, like, my account, I'm, like, ranked 737 or something like that. And I occasionally will see some of these units because, you know, cats have, you know, the... Like, the system, you know, the, the the bot, they press a button and the entire story is grinded. And, you know, they press a button and as long as they got the stones on there, they're, you know, rank 500 and stuff like that. So, like, it, it just, it creates this weirdness. And that, I, I think, is clearly the reason that Dokkan is getting rid of transfer accounts or, or transfer codes to slow down the speed at which that stuff is done. But, you know, the the smart people are going to, like, like, the smart fuckers are going to be able to do this no matter what. But... I, well, I mean, I guess, unless they, well, because, yeah, even if Dokkan put in, like, like, Fate Grand Order level of security, like, Renzi could, he would still be able to do whatever he wanted, right? Like, they, they're not stopping Renzi, uh, so <laughs> that, that's something to keep in mind, but this is very important, and I, this is going to come to Global too. so Global players pay mind to this that transfer codes ain't gonna work anymore. Um, moving forward, these are how you're gonna be able to link your account. Now, I, listen, the other thing is I'm not going to baby you guys. Um, I've been telling 
people to make a damn Facebook forever. The amount of times that people lose their accounts, like, I, I just don't understand. And they'll say, like, oh, I don't want to make a Facebook. Well, you're dumb. Uh, period. Like, like, dude, like, you, it's very, very simple to make a burner Facebook account. Like, you're if you make an account on Facebook, like, it doesn't compromise your life or anything. Like, you just make a quick Facebook account, bam, bam, bam. You link it to your Dokkan account, and you're good. You got nothing to worry about. Like, like that's what you need to do. Now, you know, you guys, have, I've put, like, maybe, I've maybe put a, over 100 grand into my Dokkan account. Like, there's no way <laughs> I'm just going to rely on, like, transfer codes, right? Occasionally, transfer codes have messed up for people. You know, they've done nothing wrong, and they've lost their accounts. Like, there is no way I'm going to risk my account for something like that. So, now they have several options. I mean, this... I would imagine most people are going to have a Google account. So, like, boom. You just link it to your Google account and you're going to be good. Um, but the point is to prepare now. I, I would tell everyone to get linked up to a Facebook account right this second. Because after the 4.8.0 update comes in, you know, there are no more transfer codes. So, you know, make sure your account is safe. And then at that point, you want to switch over to the Google account. Sure. But... You just, you got to be careful because like the amount of people that lose their accounts all the time, like, and especially like, uh, okay, okay. I think one reason people don't link to Facebook is that doesn't like, like some mod or something like that. It's, it's annoying to link it with Facebook or like you can't be linked up to Facebook or something like that. But like, you know, Hey, I mean, I guess <laughs> Dokkan is trying to, to clap down on mods and stuff like that too. I mean, I, that is something I actually don't know too much about. But I know I've seen a lot of people um, asking me to have Renzi update the APKs on DBZ Space, which Renzi has already said he like he's not doing. Like, there's going to be no more updates for those DBZ uh, Space APKs. So, like, you know, if you lost your account that way, it's like you know you're just gonna have to make a new one or something. Like, like they're gone now. So, uh, Dokkan is, I guess, with this trying to clean up the game a little bit. Um, I mean, quite honestly, Dokkan has been incredibly lenient with, like, everything. Literally, the only thing Dokkan has ever gone crazy about was the stone duping, but that literally is something that would have, like, killed the game, so I totally understand the bandways for that, right? Like, th that made a ton of sense, because, like, you know, people literally had infinite stones, like... <laughs> so, like, you know, that got cleaned up. And they're, they're like, they've never, Dokkan's never really cared about people modding. They've never cared about vendors. There's a ton of things that people, like, Dokkan's just never really given a shit about. It, it just seems like they're trying to keep people from continuing to do these things rather than tossing out, like, excessive ban waves. So, I mean, that's probably good, you know. I would much rather, like, everyone who's ever modded or something like that, like, not get banned, right? And instead, like, they're just, like, implementing ways to make it more difficult to mod and do stuff like that you know, whatever. It's just make sure you guys protect your accounts and get linked up to Facebook now. And then after the update, maybe switch over to your Google account or, you know, do the game center thing, whatever you want to do. Right. Um, then of course, you know, we got the mass like delete friend requests and accept friends and stuff like that. Uh, and then this is interesting. So you could change the brightness settings here. If you want to play in a dark place, and you don't want strong light, you can reduce... Oh, okay, that, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, so, like, you have a setting, obviously, on your phone, but now you could do it on Dokkan as well. I mean, th that's just a nice little thing that they're adding there. Um, I presume there's going to be other changes they're not really, like, announcing right here. Because, like, really, th this, this isn't really that much, but I did want to make this video just to let people know, like, hey, you know, be careful with the transfer codes. And, like, global players, you know, transfer codes are going away. So, you know, get ready for that um, before that stuff happens. Uh, then real quick at the end here, I did want to also point this out as something that's probably nothing. So, um, shout out, of course, to DBS Hype. Uh, listen, this boy DBS Hype, he be getting, like, leaks and stuff so fast. So, if you want to check him out, a lot of times, like, he is one of the first people that gets V-Jump. He gets, like, the Dragon Ball Super Manga. Like, a lot of that stuff, he gets that stuff, like, pretty much first most of the time. And then a lot of times, you know, he'll have Garage Translate for him, right? Well, so, DBS Hype got the Jump Festa schedule. If you guys don't know what Jump Festa is, I, I believe it's, like, basically, like, Shueisha's, like, one of their, like, big showcase events at the end of the year all the time. Usually major, major announcements for all types of Shonen series and, you know, uh, Shonen Jump stuff is just, like, all comes from there, right? So, what we have is the Jump Festa Dragon Ball schedule. Now, I'm going to tell y'all flat out, the number one most intriguing thing to me is this right here, the Dragon Ball Super Anime Special Stage. 
And then there's an, another one the next day. So that is, I'm like, hmm, Nani, you know, hey, uh, you know, if they, if y'all think Dokkan is popping right now, wait until like there's new characters and stuff coming out. Like, I don't know, like Dragon Ball Super continues on and then Broly goes Super Saiyan 3 and then he's a Dokkan Fest like two days later in the game or something like that. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, how much more hype does Dokkan get than what it is right now? So, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Super returning, it, it would be a very big deal, but I did want to point out that Dokkan and Legends have a stage as well. Now, if you take a look here, it's a very, very small amount of time, only a half hour, and Dokkan and Legends are on the stage together, so I don't presume we're going to get any reveals. Like, they're not going to be like, I, LRUI Goku coming. Like, I don't, I don't expect something like that, right? Uh, I believe two years ago, um, Dokkan was at Jump Festa, and they did kind of like a race, so I, I don't know if they, they have enough time you know, between Dokkan and Legends, a half hour, if they've got enough time to do something like that, so I don't know, there was that, that, like, joint collab thing between Dokkan and Legends on Twitter, like, maybe it's an extension of that or something, but I, I just wanted to put this up and point out that I don't think this is going to be, like, some, oh, you know, uh, you know, come, like, on the 21st afterwards, it's like, all right, Kaioken Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Dokkan Fest in two days, fellas. Let, get ready. Like, I don't I don't think anything like that's going to be happening. But there is the chance that they could. I mean, I you know, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But, you know, obviously I do like the progression that Dokkan has made. Um, you know, they did the uh, live stream event for the four-year anniversary. They did the live stream event for the 300 million download celebration. And now they did that special video announcing Blue Kaioken Goku on Global. Like, I, I really like that. I, I think the developers, the producers, like, talking to us, actually acknowledging us, and then letting us know what's coming and, like, doing things like that is very good for the health of the game. And it does show that they are actually listening to us and, like, following feedback and stuff like that. So I, I am very pleased that all of these sort of, like, live stream events and the Dokkan Now and stuff like that is a very, very good idea. So um, hopefully they do continue that stuff. Um, I presume... What's probably going to happen is we will get, uh, like, a Japanese version live stream or something like that. Probably towards the end of January, I would imagine. Um, or maybe even middle of the January. And they might announce who the uh, five-year anniversary units are. So, we really could be, like, 40 days or 35 days away from seeing what the five-year anniversary units are. It looks like uh, LR Blue Gogeta is one of them. But we don't know if that's confirmed. And we also don't know what else might come with them, right? So... There we go. Um, again, shout out to the homie Goresh and DBS Hype. And then uh, make sure you guys are making, uh, you know, you can just make a burner Facebook account until the update happens and then switch over to a Google account or something like that. But you've got to do it now. Don't play around. Don't lose your account for dumb reasons. I've never, ever, ever heard a good reason why someone has not created a burner Facebook account for their account. I've never heard it. I've never heard a good reason before. So make sure you do it. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch y'all next time.